Ah, yes, it is time to create a great work. Wonder which one we're going to get this time. We have written Leaves of Grass. A book I've never read. Let alone, never heard of. And I probably really should have. Oh, you little shit. Fucking Monkey D. Luffy coming off the shore again. Well, get the fuck out of here, babe. I don't want you here. You're not welcome in Mumbai. Mumbai is our trading hub, and it doesn't belong to you. You don't get to keep it. You don't get to do shit to it. Uh, we might actually get um, the scientists. Uh, well, we already own them, though. They want to demand tribute from Manila. They want to. De there are two city states that want me to demand tribute from Manila. Well, who is Manila? Hello there, Manila. How are you doing? I mean, you seem like a cool guy, right? Well, you know, I could ask you for tribute. No, I can't. Apparently. Unfortunately. Well, I guess I'm not going to be able to demand tribute from another then. What's this? They want you to complete a land... I could probably do that, potentially. When I, once one of my trade routes expires, I might be able to set that up and we could potentially get us another ally, which would be amazing. It's not very hard to maintain allies. You just got to pay them money. 250 gold every few turns and you're, you're good. Acquiring them is the difficult part. We need to... I think that trade route would probably help. Oh, shit! Ideologies. Egypt. Egypt. Fucking adopted an ideology over here. That ain't, that ain't good. That ain't good. That ain't acceptable. We are getting to that point where I'm gonna need to start really pushing out. Because my approval is the lowest in the world right now. And that's during a golden age. I, I also... Am, I'm second place in literacy, which isn't the worst. But I'm only slightly above average. So winning a space race is actually going to be kind of difficult this time. That's what we wanted to go for. So we're going to actually definitely need to press for war. We're going to have dynamite in two turns. And then I think we are set to attack Sweden. And once we take Sweden out, I mean, there's... Pretty much no other threat on the continent. I mean, you got these guys over here, but they're kind of like slammed into a corner. And, you know, to be fair, we're, we're very, we're on very good terms with them, to be honest. I don't think they're going to betray us, hopefully. Um, unlike Rome and the Aztecs and everyone else who were definitely going to betray us from the very start. Ironically, the people we were going to attack first are, have turned out to be our greatest allies. He says, Oh, what the fuck is. What? Danish-Norwegian Ski Infantry. Holy crap, that's amazing! I've never seen this unit before. But oh my god, I am so glad we did. The cities we all like to visit. Succothai! You don't... No! No, you don't get to go to Succothai. You should be coming to fucking Delhi. Jesus fuckers. What a bunch of assholes. What an asshole. Jeez, whoever execute whoever wrote that article. Oh shit, we got World's Fair going on. It's already 24% complete. That's not good. I'm gonna start investing on the World's Fair. I didn't know that was already out. Yeah, we're gonna definitely need artillery if we're gonna take on Stockholm because they are very, very hilly. They're very hard to attack them without um, indirect bombardment. And we're gonna need to defeat their army first. If you could, uh, uh, God, I'm concerned. I am very concerned about the powers that be in the West and the East, depending, relative to, you know, where you look on a map, the, the guys overseas. I am very concerned about them, because, as it turns out, they're doing very, very, very well, and apparently they're doing very well in war as well. However, we have supplanted them in the first place literacy. I don't know how long we're going to keep that lead. We have first place soldiers. But all of this could change at any moment. We need to keep moving. We need to win. Get rifling. That way we can upgrade our musketmen over to riflemen and we can really just push over this border. Because right now I think they actually I think they actually get better than us right now. 
in terms of like their unit's abilities. And they're, I think they actually already have rifling. I'm pretty sure they do. Which is not good. That means they're slightly ahead of us in military attack. I don't know if they have artillery, but they definitely have rifling. Definitely do. Okay, so I actually should probably scout up there in the limited time that I have. Let's see what they have in full. So this is their army. This is their entire army. It is pretty powerful. I'll give them that much. The question is, is it powerful enough? I'm going to say probably no. I think we could probably take them. I think we have a very good chance of taking these guys out. In fact, we have two great generals, so we could just... Oh, yeah. A lot of... Ooh, okay, what the fuck's happening over here? You got the fucking Danish cavalry flying in. This, what are you doing, Copenhagen? What are you doing? You trying to attack me? How many squares have we... Con or squares. Hammers have we contributed? I need to know. We've contributed 286. That's... Ugh. Oh, God. It's not, that's not the best. We need to get, like, 500 points. It's, it is 50%, only 50% complete, so we should be fine. Should be able to get at least a few points in. I don't know what's going on. I mean, we got the Danes coming at us now? I mean, we're supposed to be good friends here, Danes. Well, I mean, I guess all good friendships have to end eventually, so we're probably going to have to go to war with you, too. Great. I don't think I could take... Oh, they're bringing in cannons. Are they trying to attack me, or are they trying to get to Sweden somehow? If they're trying to get to Sweden, I'd love to join in. That'd be a great investment. But, you know, it is kind of concerning... I can't really move my army, because if I move my army, you know, the fucking Swedes are just going to rush in and take that in Chitlin. We need to hold our ground here. I don't know where their cannon is going, though. I mean, if it's trying to attack Rome, it's going to completely... It's in the worst possible place. There's no way they're going to be able to take Delhi with one cannon. My army's also, like, right there, so that ain't fucking happening. So what what is happening? What do they what do they think they're doing? These guys building a road to my city? What the fuck's going on? The AI's like lost its mind. Where are they going? Aren't you the ones Whoa 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 Hold the front door, Siam! You wanted to ban cotton. Now you're wanting to take fine. Take my drugs. Take them, consume them. Be my slave, you asshole. You can have it all you want. Just remember. Just remember, I know. I, I, I remember what you've done. And one day, when when you're, when you're shaking in your boots, when you're like, I need the cotton, man. I really need it. Well, you ain't getting it. You ain't getting it. Also, we killed a Swedish spy. I'm sure Sweden is not going to be happy about that. Like, at all. Yeah... They might be trying to attack Hanoi, and I also wouldn't like it if they attacked Hanoi, because Hanoi is an ally of mine. But I'll let them do it unless Hanoi starts losing, and then I'll move in and fix it. So we got to be, our borders are now closed with um, Sweden, but we did get a good scout of their land at the very least. I need to buy another trade ship. There we go. And then we're gonna set up that trade route, and that should be good. Oh shit. Uh, our units are merely passing through the area. Yeah, we ha we we're not declaring war. Our units are literally just stationed here in response to your army. Is this why your army here? Is your army here because you think I'm going to attack you? 
I mean, you're right. Eventually, I will attack you, but not, like, right now. What was that city-state that needed help? Um, was it... It's... Where is it? There it is. Vancouver. Can we actually... We, we can't set up a trade route with Vancouver. God damn it. Oh, well. That's gonna suck. So let's go to Copenhagen then. Get some big bucks coming in. Because I can move my army back, you know, a little bit. If that, if that would help put you at ease. Let's see. I'm gonna move my army back a little bit. Then, and see if that puts these guys at ease. Your army's the one brushing up on our border, so, you know. You only got yourself to blame for me having to be here. I'm just saying. There you go. Take that. I think we're doing fairly well. We're on second on literacy again. Oh shit! I think the Siam might be almost out. Almost out completely. I'm surprised the Siam is still doing so as well as they are. Uh, I got third place. Uh, it's kind of to be expected. I kind of actually forgot this even went into commission. I could have probably won first place if I really wanted to. We're going to finish out um, rationalism, actually. And we're going to rush. So is steam power any good? Nah. Let's rush electricity. Sounds like a good idea. We'll be the first country with electricity in the world. Great idea for me. Stock exchange? Mm, maybe. Let's go for a factory. Factories are going to be good. Uh, it's trade routes. We get to set up another one. Want to go with the one with the most money? So you. Give us more money. And we're going to start setting up... Let's get a circus, because we have the least happiness, and once we get ideologies, that's going to be a problem. Radio, that's actually, before I even commit to that, let's have a look at the actual tech tree itself. Radio is, is pretty good, though. Um, Yeah, I think we'll go for radio for now, because that's going to increase our culture generation by a lot. And then we're going to go for archaeology and push up that way, and maybe then rush for combustion or something. But that is something I think we're going to have to save for next time. Anyhow, thanks for watching. I've been Uh-Oh, and I'll see you next time.